The first two features have to do with saving time by dragging and dropping. So for example, I've sent an email here to myself. If I want to include this information in my calendar, all I have to do is drag this email over to the calendar icon, and as soon as I let go, calendar opens. Uh, the subject line of the email becomes the title of the appointment, which I can change. Uh, I like to leave this information down here to remind me what the, uh, the meeting is about. And then also a reminder that you can actually uh, use the intuitive feature of Outlook to change your date. So from here I can say one week from tomorrow, and as soon as I hit enter or tab, that date will come up. Very similarly, I can add this person to my contacts without having to open contacts by just dragging this email over to the people icon here. That's uh, contacts. As soon as I let go, it'll pull out from the email all the information like name and email address. And then anything else, I can just kind of highlight and drag into the appropriate field here, just like mobile number. The next tip is about including someone while also decreasing keystrokes. So let's say I'm going to write an email. I'm going to just write it to myself. And I'll say about that meeting. Uh, I can start typing here and then let them know that I am copying someone simply by using a symbol. Here it is. I'm copying at, and you can see it, it actually populates automatically with some of the most common addresses that I have, but I can start typing anyone's name. So let's just say Joe, uh, and there's my, uh, my son. I can just, and then hit tab, and then keep going. So I never have to stop and go over to the copy field. Another wonderful time saver is to use a function called quick parts. Uh, if you have some templates that you want to use, uh, things that you write over and over again, consider a quick part. So for example, uh, in this new email, I'm going to go to insert, and then I've got quick parts right over here on the right side, and you'll see some of the quick parts that I already have inside here. So for example, here's a, a final email to the soon-to-be graduates, something I send out at the end of every semester at least twice. So if I click on that, it automatically inserts it in the email. Now, how did, this, how did this work? How did I do this? Well, once you have your email already set up, go ahead and highlight it, go to Quick Parts, and then toward the bottom, you'll see a little function there called Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. Once you save it and name it, uh, it'll always be there for you to use in the future. One of my final quick tips here in Microsoft Outlook, which I use all the time, is the cleanup feature right here. So you ever get caught up in a really multitude of threads, uh, people in a group responding to each other, when really all it is you need to see is the last email that includes everybody's response. So if you go here to clean up, and you can clean up the folder and the subfolder for that matter, but once you hit clean up folder, it removes all of the different emails from a previous conversation and leaves the last email that contains all of them.